Greetings, uh, viewers, tubers, tuber heads. Anyway, there's a new update for my theme candy add-on that allows you to finally change background colors for some of these uh, panels. So up until now, changing your highlighted color has always been uh, possible to do, but let's go to the new stuff in advanced mode, and you'll find some extra panels here. So let's expand this, and we can now change the background colors here. For example, the outliner, we can make it really, really dark. Uh, this is the properties, the area, space, whatever it's called. Let's strike in that as well. Hmm, secondary color. Let's start in that too. Ah, not bad. Let's get rid of the active modifier color. I've never really liked that. And uh, what else can we change? Oh yeah, preferences. Uh, preferences is right here. Let's start in this. Secondary color, sure. And you can see some of these uh, unhighlighted or unselected elements are still too bright, so we can now change those too very easily. Just move this down. Hey, I think we're... We're getting somewhere here. So what else can we change while we're at it? So those are some of the new features. Let's change, oh yeah, icons, that's also new. Someone said they wanted monochromatic icons, so you can just hover over any color slot, Control C, and Control V over any other slot. I wouldn't recommend that for usability purposes, duh. But let's add some color back. Let's do something like this. And uh, oh, if you don't know what file folders does, because I wasn't sure either, that's when you open a folder like this. So that's what this color does. Hmm. Uh, this might not be the best color, but whatever, we're sticking with it. So let's change our background color to a linear gradient. We could already do that, but I, I'm just getting a little excited here. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hmm. We need a brighter matte cap. This. Not bad. Oh, okay. That's definitely not usable, <laughs> but for this video, let's just leave it like that. So the point is, we can now uh, create our own theme very, very quickly. I mean, that only took us like a minute, maybe two, and it gets you like 95% of the way there, maybe more. You can still tweak it manually if you want, like going into Blender's uh, theme editor options, but the point is, uh, the theme candy add-on is a real time saver. So if you just want the latest update, being able to change the background colors and Ooh, collapsible menus. Just uh, download the latest version from wherever you got it. Oh, and don't forget to save your beautiful new theme, candy, no wait, vomit green, perfect.